Information is power, but only verified information, not assumptions. Making decisions based on assumptions, especially in a business setting, can lead to unnecessary budget waste. Imagine advertising on Instagram when all of your potential customers are on Twitter. So, how to eliminate unnecessary assumptions in sales, marketing and product decisions? You ask the people you want to hear from. I'm Sabina, a content manager at Servicate and a customer feedback expert. Today I'll give you three ideas on what you should be asking your customers and your potential customers. I'll have one idea for marketers, one for product teams and finally, one for customer success and account managers. For marketers, see what kind of content your customers enjoy. If you run a blog, then you realize how difficult it is to continuously come up with new content. And customers are a treasure trove of new ideas. What's more, they'll immediately be interested in consuming your content if it was suggested by them. This survey will help you figure out what kind of content users want to see on your website. Your answer options should include an other with a possibility of a text answer. That way you can also make use of fresh ideas. And don't worry about analyzing text responses. It can be tricky if you don't have the right tool. If you collect enough responses, i.e. so many responses it won't make sense to go through them manually, we'll generate a word cloud for you. The bigger a buzzword, the more people mentioned it in their suggestion. You will get some words you may not be interested interested in from time to time. If that happens, simply type it below to exclude it from your analysis. You can send this survey via email to your subscribers or place it on your website for your visitors to see. For product teams, find out what you should build next. Not sure how to develop your product? Your customers can let you know what the next best step is. Because the best next step you can take is one that mirrors what they need. Simply ask them what features they would like to see. Take the guesswork out of product development. You have to ensure you actually cater to your audience. This survey makes great use of the ranking question. Users will rank your ideas in order of importance. I also recommend you add a follow-up text question for them to turn your attention to their own ideas. Product teams are often too close to the product to exhaust all possible features that could improve it. Don't underestimate your customer's creativity. They may suggest small changes that will be quick wins. For customer success, See if your customers are satisfied with your brand. As a customer success agent, your primary concern is your account satisfaction with the product you are selling and your service. And the CSAT survey asks exactly that. It gathers information on how satisfied customers are with your products and services. Like NPS, it is a general metric that gives you a bird's eye view. But the follow-up questions can give you detailed feedback that you can turn into action. A common answer, for example, is that there is a lack of instructions or manuals. What you may see as obvious, you've had a lot of experience with the product you are selling, may be a complete mystery to a customer. Answers to follow-up questions to a CSAT survey will help you catch those areas where customers may need a little more hand-holding. You can find all of these templates linked in the description below. Check them out by signing up for a free Servicate account. Our customer success agents will make sure the onboarding process is smooth and comfortable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.